consider what the Father has given us in His Son, every spiritual blessing. I think I think it differs from believer to believer, but I think overall there's an overarching reality of I think about um, the mountain of transfiguration. Um, you have you know Jesus and his his select three disciples going up on a mountain um, and experiencing what we would call the spiritual high. Um, and then immediately after that, going back down to the bottom of the mountain and having to deal with uh, just real life issues. And um, I think a lot of times for people, conferences, concerts, uh, things like that, they offer um, to an extent like an escape up from from the regular, um, you know, just life and doing the regular spiritual disciplines. Um, but eventually you have to get back to the reality of like, this is real life, I have to serve people. It's not, I'm not gonna live in a bubble for the rest of my life. Um, I'm not gonna be away from non-believers for the rest of my life. It's not gonna be just me and Jesus and my two buddies for the rest of my life. Um, so you have to try to you know, make sure that you're uh, letting the message or whatever it was that impacted you about that experience follow you to, you know, to the rest of your life and not just, not just the experience itself and the, the, the feelings that you had, but the truth that, that, that comes with it. I think, it's, I think it's normal for the human being to experience highs and lows. Um, I, I think we're emotional beings. Uh, that's the way God created us. And I think that those, those spiritual highs are good for us because we get to experience the richness and fullness of God sometimes. Um, and I think it's, it's inevitable that we come back to reality. And, and I think the thing to remember is when we do come back to this kind of valley or lull in our life, whether it be because, I mean, we're just humans. Um, I think that the key is to remember the, the, the gospel. Remember that in the gospel, God has taken care of everything for us. We have been reconciled with our God and Creator. And, and there's nothing more important than that. And so when we do face these um, spiritual lulls, we can rest in the fact that even though I'm not emotionally charged or I'm not, I'm not on the spiritual high, I can have confidence in the fact that God has taken care of my sin. God has taken care of the separation between Him and I by His Son, Jesus. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna face those things just because we're natural, we're human beings. Um, but, Thank God for the gospel that, that pushes us through those experiences.